Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash hookah anonymous underscore. You guys been telling us to create one for the longest, so we recently created a community where we will upload videos that we can't share on YouTube due to their guidelines, but we'll also be dropping the latest to their first behind the scenes information that you wouldn't find anywhere else on our socials. So make sure you become a member, and after you do that, head over to our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore and follow us there. Now without further ado, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Meek Mill. <laughs> Um, I don't know why Meek chose to do this to himself because um, at the end of the day, you know, anything that 50 Cent responds, it's not going to be nothing positive. And Meek and 50 already had a day back and forth back in the days. I think back then it was pretty much more so that um, 50 and Rick Ross was going at it. And as y'all know, Meek Mill was on Raw side, the whole MMG stuff. Then there was a point in time where, like I said, Meek was actually cool with 50. Right, they they wasn't like warring or nothing. It was a time they were doing a show together, and if y'all remember, there's a guy by the name of Trav. Yeah, Trav. He used to be hanging with um 50 Cent and his entourage, and then they had a fall out with each other. Then um I think he was already friends with Meek, so he was actually rocking out with Meek, in which he still rocks with Meek to this day. And um Trav tried to get on stage while Meek was on stage with 50 Cent. It was a big thing because 50 didn't want him on stage. Whatever. Right, but then you also gotta remember Slow, um, the guy one half of Slow Bucks. He was also another guy that was a part of 50's entourage at one point in time. They had the whole Slow Bucks thing going on, but then him and 50 fell out. It got to the point, if y'all remember, on Summer Jam, where Slow got into it with one of uh, 50's guys. I think his name's by the name of Monster. He's like a security or whatever. He ended up taking the chain. That was a big thing that happened on Summer Jam. But as y'all know, once again, Slow was also cool with Meek Mill. So it kind of seems like Meek already got a whole bunch of guys that don't like 50, you know, on his side. And I I guess that's where the whole animosity between Meek Mill and 50 come from. Where it kind of seemed a little one-sided where Meek really don't rock with 50 or whatever. And it's kind of weird because I don't know if y'all familiar with New York, but Queens especially. Meek Mill been hanging around a lot of guys from Queens. But then, you know, they all pretty much know 50 and his guys because they all Queens guys as well. So I think maybe that's why I never really get out of hand like that because everybody pretty much know each other. However, it's like a few guys that actually got their gripe with 50 for their own personal reason. I, I'm, I'm not too really familiar with the whole situation, just the basis of it. But in any event, we're going to talk about Meek Mill calling out 50 Cent. Basically over 50 Cent, I'm going back and forth with Diddy's son, Christian Combs, in which he's really not going back and forth. Um, with the whole situation with Diddy and 50, y'all know they've been at it forever. Forever. It's just that now the whole thing happened with Diddy, and y'all know 50, he just don't let up. And what happened is uh, Diddy's son, Christian Combs, he actually decided to release a diss track about 50 Cent. Now... If y'all know anything about 50, y'all know once he goes, he's just gonna keep going and going and going. We've seen it with Ja Rule, Fat Joe, the whole Murder Inc. Matter of fact, everybody from Rick Ross, uh, Jay to Kiss, uh, anybody that he's into it with, you know that once 50 start going off on you, he is like no stop. He's just gonna keep going and going. We see him do it all the time on social media. It just is what it is. So when um, Christian Combs pretty much released this diss track, we already knew what was coming. Now, a lot of people was kind of, you know, sidetracked as to why he would put that out. Some people are saying that, you know, he's too young. He needs to stay in the child's place. That's really not his place to be going at 50 Cent. But of course, we do know that that's his father. So, you know, some kids, they're going to definitely protect their parents. It just is what it is. However, when it comes to the no Diddy thing, because Christian Combs, he did say that if he had anybody saying 
no Diddy is pretty much up for them. And that's pretty crazy because at the end of the day, the whole world is saying no Diddy, right? You know, um, Quilly Mills, he went on DJ Academics, he said it, and um, it went viral. He's saying that he started it. Some people are saying he didn't, but that's a whole nother story. But like I said, ever since he said it on DJ Academics, it went viral. So everybody's saying it. It ain't just 50 Cent, but for some reason, Christian Combs, he decided to make a diss track about 50 Cent. Now, it's kind of strange, too, because like I said, 50 been going at Diddy for years. So what made him decide to now do a diss track towards 50? Right? I kind of don't get it, but I guess that's what he wanted to do. Meek Mill had something to say in reference to it because since Christian put that diss track out, 50 has been going nonstop. So you know how that goes. Like we said before, once 50 start going off on you, he's not going to stop. And that's pretty much what he's been doing. So Meek Mill had a few words to say on Twitter. We're going to get into all that. But before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to the platform already, make sure you do so now. Let's get into it. Now, Meek Mill would take to his Twitter and repost a tweet by 50 Cent responding to Christian Combs' diss track as 50 would say, quote, I feel so threatened by the things Christian is saying on his record. I'm afraid for my life. Please don't hurt me, guys. I never mentioned or posted anything about Puffy's kids because Keefy D said he killed Tupac. Then he put the little shrug emoji, LOL. Now, Meek Mill would repost it and respond to that by saying, quote, Because you're federal. The street and words in Queens know. That's why you're trying to pick on a little boy. Your own son hates your guts, lol. I'm so grateful to be on the island with my son and his friends on his B-Day. Don't follow these guys. They miserable lives be terrible. So it's kind of like Meek involved himself in that whole situation. And um, he didn't stop there. He pretty much posted a picture that he's on the island. And um, he had something else to say as he would caption it saying, quote, Y'all N-words 50 online beefing with kids. Of course, y'all N-words left all y'all friends and family behind. Y'all holding the culture back for real. Old hate and manipulation N-words, LOL. Then he didn't stop there because Meek would take to another tweet as he would say, quote, I say what I want because a war come behind me if that's the case, LOL. Y'all got the rap ish too loose. Somebody going to die and y'all going to be calling Farrakhan or y'all federal friends. Just because y'all not hot no more, tearing y'all folks down all you can do. Now, Meek Mill will post somebody talking about, you know, running into 50 or what will happen if they run into each other. And Meek Mill will post saying, quote, I ran into 50 many times. He only had monster around him that was risking his life and really holding the line. Nobody trusts in 50. He too vicious. N-word spoke on my child like this. N-word mentally sick. LOL. Then in the next post, he will say, quote, I never seen black people laugh at black people getting indicted. He really be online enhancing people cases. And he got real statements against N-words. You ain't feed Mike Knox yet. Everybody on to you. Then in the last tweet in regards to everything, Meek Mill will say, quote, But let me stop. These are N-words y'all look up to. These people that destroy black families and success like bad cops. I don't find them funny. I see him as a rich parasite. N-words be rooting for N-words to go to jail and claiming he's from the street. I'm going to start bombing on y'all. Now, y'all know it wouldn't be DJ Academics if he didn't have anything to say, and that's exactly what he did. DJ Academics would take to his Twitter, and he would say, quote, Can someone tell Washed Up at Meek Mill to hang it up? You making the same mistake you did in 2015, bozo. Stop tweeting. Go make a track, dummy. Man's mad his career got killed by a singer N-word, blogging N-word, and because of a lawsuit. Block me, weirdo. Stop talking about me. Now, 50 Cent didn't respond yet, and I was going to wait until he responded, but who knows when he's going to respond, but I'm pretty sure he's definitely going to respond. Now, let's talk about what Meek Mill had to say, right? First and foremost, um, Meek Mill saying that 50 not taking care of guys. I don't think that's the right thing to be saying because they always say you shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. And we know that time after time, they always accuse Meek Mill of not taking care of certain people around him or left him. I don't really know, but that's always the rumors that's flying around. Meek Mill always say he still got the same guys around him, and it just is what it is. If that's what he says, it is what it is. Now, let's talk about the track and what he had to say about 50 Cent. Um, When it comes to the indictment, I don't think anybody's laughing at an indictment when it comes to Diddy. What I think they're laughing at or making fun at is everyone's making fun of what he was indicted for. 
right? The man was indicted for some serious charges, which included forcible sexual acts with men and women and forcing his girl at the time, Cassie, to perform some weird things. Not to mention, in the lawsuit, it also included Meek himself being a victim of whatever it was. Now, whether any of that is true or not, it could be all internet hoobla because we know a lot of things on social media isn't too accurate. However, Meek makes it no better by actually calling himself standing up for Diddy or his son in this situation, you know? And if you're on the island with your kids, then you shouldn't have time to be commenting on 50 and what's going on with Diddy's son. I would think so. Now, I do get it. 50 could be petty at times, and we know that's just 50. It don't matter who you are. You could be 5 years old, 10 years old. If you say anything about him, he's going to respond respectfully. But here's the thing. Um, Christian Combs, in his song, he did say SMD, you know, inviting guys to his private parts, saying what he would do, and someone better not say no Diddy. He's pretty much, you know, making dry threats. What I'm saying is, how else do you expect somebody to respond to that, right? Whether you're young, old, anytime you say SMD or invite somebody to that, or you diss them in any way, shape, or form, they're going to respond. And we know 50 being 50, he's definitely going to respond. But let's say this, right? Let's say the shoe was on the other foot and Christian Combs was coming at Meek Mill. And he said something about SMD and all that. How would he feel? You see what I'm saying? And what 50 did, he was just being a clown. Uh, oh, I'm fearing for my life. And, you know, just playing into the pettiness. But that's what you expect if you're going to make a whole diss track about someone. And I understand that Meek is this pro-black and I want to help the hood out type of guy now but i don't understand how these guys can sit here and act like they want so much for the culture and us as a people but still rap and talk about spinning drilling sliding on ops putting money on heads i just don't get it maybe it's me but i would never get how guys can act like they want different from the culture but still contribute to the same thing that's keeping us down right that's backwards I'm not saying you got to be kumbaya, but when you're trying to promote a positive lifestyle and uplift the culture, like you say, you can't be two-sided. It's a one-sided thing. You either in or you out. Because if not, you'll never change nothing because all you're doing is confusing the youth. They hear you preaching positivity in one breath, but in the next, you're telling them to spin blocks and saying what's going to happen if somebody do X, Y, and Z. And when you think about it, right, what's positive is going to come out of mentioning 50 or anybody on social media, telling them they miserable, talking about how they handle their kids or a bad father or whatever. What's going to come out of that? And at the end of the day, it's just best you say nothing. <laughs> if it was me, I'll mind my business, right? Even if I had a problem with whatever the next man is doing on the internet, why should I comment on it, right? Especially if it don't concern me. But I don't know. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. 50 haven't responded yet. As y'all know, he definitely is. And um, as he do, we're going to update you guys. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.